Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. Today we're going to be showcasing an item called Lawful. All items on the floor will be of the same item pool. It is randomly chosen at the start of each level. So I think that means our first level here is going to be relatively normal. Um, we're probably not going to see anything crazy. But for every level after that, we are going to be seeing... A lovely little bit of random pools. In fact, I think it's actually worked for this floor because it seems to be the shop pool. Yes, indeed it is. We've got the glizzy here. Not a bad starting item to grab. Uh, but yeah, so this floor, all of our items will be from the shop pool. Which is going to be weird. <laughs> going to be really strange. Oh, dude, how am I meant to not get hit here? <laughs> Somehow it's I've made it work so far, dude. This enemy's the worst. But I, because I was saying in the previous episode about using lossless scaling to uh, improve our FPS, I've installed a few new mods. Uh, Deliverance being one of them um, that I actually really like and haven't used in a long time, and that is what is giving us the lawful item. Oh man, those enemies cause a little bit of lag, but don't don't matter for us. Doesn't matter for us. Um, I'm gonna grab whatever pill this is and take it. It's a shot speed down. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we'll have some some new enemies, some new items, and there's a few other mods, like synergy mods and stuff that I got that I mixed in there as well. So the shop should be pretty much normal. Um, we did get Dr. Medicine here. Restore half a heart each time you swallow a pill. That's pretty decent. Not don't think we're gonna have the money to be able to grab that, though. We do have one bomb to start with here, because we're playing as Isaac, of course. The reason I decided to pick Isaac to start with here is because if we're getting uh, one item pool, then rerolls will be pretty fun. We could uh, potentially get some interesting items through rerolling, so I thought it would be a good idea to grab ourselves uh, the ability to reroll. Um, and obviously, Isaac starting with that naturally. It was kind of a good fit. Um, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to skip the secret room and see what we get for doing this. Unfortunately, nothing. That was a random rune rock, and it didn't do anything for us, which is a shame. Um, but we'll be able to reroll whatever our boss item is here. Uh, we could take the golden plum flute, but honestly, golden plum flute isn't going to do all that much for us, uh, considering we want to stick with the D6. So I would rather try and grab ourselves a good item. Obviously, golden plum is a little, little difficult here, little difficult, but. Not awful. We can we can deal with them. We actually have decent enough health to survive a few hits if we take a few bad bits of damage. Our character is looking absolutely stylish right now. I have to say, with the uh, the old the old meat glizzy hat on. Um, yeah, glizzy is a decent item to get. Like the fact that it gives you a heart container is pretty nice. And then plus ten to all of the stats. It's obviously not great, but it's stats. Stats are stats at the end of the day. Right there you go. Um, and we got ourselves Sculpting Clay, which is an insanely, insanely good item. Um, basically, it will allow us to duplicate an item on the floor, but I will delete. I'm actually pretty happy with the battery because it's another active item. The battery's pretty good, allowing us to store extra charges as and when we need them. Uh, if we end up not needing a reroll for a while, being able to store an extra battery charge is not a bad thing at all. Let's put out the fires here. I love that. Uh, okay, cool. We are good to go to the next floor. In fact, I'm going to go for my cash room as well here. Might get another shop item. You never know. But yeah, I don't think there's any way of us knowing which item pool we've gotten until we see the uh, an, an item. Hopefully, we don't just keep getting the shop pool. We could get unlucky. But I believe you can also get, like, the baby uh, shop and stuff like that as well. So, it can give you some interesting stuff. Um, and we got our Degas here, which is pretty good going into the next floor. I'm going to obviously hold it onto the next floor just so we can potentially potentially clear a curse on the next floor, but doesn't matter if we don't. I'll still pop it anyways for the soul heart, just for a little bit of uh, devil deal assurance. Um, let's carry on down and see how we go. As for a question of the day for today's episode, what's your favourite item pool? Uh, what is your favourite item pool? Right, we'll pop in here real quick. I think that was easy enough. Uh, unfortunately, a room that requires bombs, which I do not have. Then we'll pop our degas here. Now I've got a bit of safety for our devil deal. Having a soul heart you can use on demand is, is very, very nice. Uh, yeah, what's your favourite item pool? I, I, I realise probably a lot of people are going to say secret room, but I think there is other options and other other pools that can be really interesting. I, I still remember to this day, my first ever time getting Sci-Fly, without having known what it did prior, was from a key beggar 
one, like, one floor. I think I was on Corpse 1 before fighting Mother. And I got a sci fi for the first time. And I was like, oh my god, what the hell is this thing? It was just amazingly god tier, obviously. And that was... That was pre-nerf as well. Like, it got nerfed. It didn't get nerfed very hard, uh, but it did get nerfed. So that was pre-nerf. So a completely different ballpark. Oh, dude, this is... Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. That was a bit of a rough room there for us. Candle guy. Please stay away. I'm just going to I've I've gotten to the point of taking pills now. I'm going to keep taking pills. It's obviously not working for me so far, but I've, I've committed to this bit. I've committed to the pill. I shall not... I shall not stop taking the pill. Good, good. And then here, our item pool is the devil deal pool. Very, very nice. Okay, so all our items in this floor devil deal. Now, it's going to be quite important for us to actually get money. Um, with with our, our pools being spread across the different item pools, uh, different uh, rooms, sorry, the shop is pretty valuable to us because being able to buy like devil deal items for money is is a pretty dude. What the hell was that? Um, is a is a pretty good boon to our success rate. So being able to garner some extra money would be really, really, really nice. Uh, at the minute, unfortunately, that is not going so well. Um, but at least we'll be able to get another devil deal from our boss room here. I would like to get something that's going to give us some damage. Unfortunately, Hellfire not not having popped yet isn't ideal. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate again, but some people ask why I don't have any money in my donation machine. Basically, back when I was doing um, my Dead God and back when I, like, just a bit after that as well, when I was just, like, doing random runs, I was overly reliant, like, overly, overly reliant on the, uh, the donation machine bombing. And so I just emptied it one day to make sure that I wasn't overly reliant on it, and I'm kind of happy that I did. I think for showcase runs, it's not as good to have it unfilled. Um, but I still, I don't know. It's all fine. We do have a double charge of our D6 now. Very, very nice. And we are going to want to get some luck so that Hellfire is popping more often. Uh, but so far, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I could check out my shop, but the thing is, if I get an item in there that's really, really good, it would take it out of the rotation. It would take it out of the pool. So I probably don't want to do that. Dude, uh, what? Well, that, was, uh, that was rude. Why is the three of them? I mean, luckily, these guys, they're annoying, but they're not too bad. And I, this room is literally made so that you can kill them on the red poops. But for some reason, I'm not doing that. I just find it difficult to, to line them up right, to be honest. It's kind of easier to just try and kill them naturally. Considering they have such low health. And we get the Infernal Covenant. Grants a passive item um, from the current room's pool. And removes some heart containers after being fully charged. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna reroll that and go for that. That's good because just because that's an active item, get some flight here. And what we got going on here? The Blood Pact gives an exponential tier bonus based on how many red hearts the player has. 0.6 damage for every red heart container lost. Um, exponential tiers, but oh, okay. Well, there you go. Then we'll take that. Good, good, good. Right, cool. That's some good items to grab there. Um, I'll come back through here and see if I can get anything more out of this. And I'll try and go to my secret room in the in the hopes that I get an item or in the hopes that I um, manage to get money for the shop. So let's see if we can suss out where the secret room's going to be here. Um, I'm not entirely sure right now. Hmm. Hmm. It's a tricky one. Okay, I think it's between the shop and the, the room above up there, look. By the looks of things. Decent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. There you go. And we did get some money. Not quite enough, but we did get some money. Extra red hearts there, and a sack, which is even more money. I will check the shop now because I have over seven cents. There's a chance I could buy something. It could, end, it could also end up removing something from my pool, but... Oh, we got more of the void. I'd love to get more of the void. Um, 
trying to think of any way I can make this work now. I mean, for a start, as I'm going to go back into my um, thingy room, I do have some cares pennies in there. Obviously, the chance to lower our amount of money, but equally the chance to increase it. So I could, I could take a gamble. I could take a gamble. Um, black art, really good. Up to eleven. Up to twelve. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm losing the burn heart no matter what here, aren't I, sir? There's no point taking it. Right. Is there any way, anywhere, I can somehow get three extra cent? I really don't think there is, um, that I can think of here, unless there's some stuff I haven't destroyed. Damn, two. And I knew I'd regret going in there. God damn it. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. But... We'll head on to the next floor. We got a, the good thing about like searching and scrambling for money is it means we've got more money for the next floor for whatever pool we get on this floor. So let's see what pool we get next. But Devil Deal, definitely a pretty good one. Definitely a pretty good one. Um, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm really, really hoping we get some something damage related soon though, because our stats. The one bad thing about uh, an item like this is not having boss items means the health ups and stat ups aren't exactly going to be common. Um, so we need to be careful with our, uh, health, and we need to really look for some way of getting more stats. I do like having, um, flight and speed here, though, from our, uh, wings, Lord of the Bottomless Pit. It's very nice. I'm hoping that we, um, hit one of these guys with a hellfire very soon here. This is gonna be a, a pretty awful room for us with this damage. The good thing is we've got them all to the point now where they're reforming. Come on, one of you Hellfire, please. Hellfiring only occurs once you kill an enemy, and it keeps it alive for a few extra seconds, and then spews out lasers. Okay, we'll use our shop here to check what pool we've got. Good. Those guys are rather large. I would like Spectral now that we've got Flight as well. That would be rather lovely to have. Yeah, our damage is really, really sucking right now. That was uh, an annoying hit to take. But let's see what we got going on in here. Okay, so, it looks like we just got Item Room Pool here, uh, by the looks of it. We did get this. That's very, very nice. We'll take that, and we'll see if we can grab Aquarius eventually. Uh, but this is somewhat of a DPS increase, 25% chance to fire two extra tiers. I like that. Oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? Oh, that's a shoddy loss of my devil deal there. I didn't realize he produced these go these goobers. Oh, man. You need to stop with this. I didn't realize he produced those. That was my bad. Very much my bad, but it is what it is. Oh my god, I'm taking some dumb damage here. I'm forgetting how a lot of enemies work. That's, that's not good. And also as well, I'm just playing like I have way more damage than I, than I actually do. Amnesia? No thank you, Amnesia. Um, I'm gonna pop this. Really? It didn't reflect? That's, uh, that, that was not worth it. <laughs> actually not worth it. Right, we... This is an XL flaw. It looks like, like quite a big flaw. Yeah, getting those extra tiers is going to be nice on occasion. It seems like 25% is much higher than 25% because I seem to be getting them a lot. Ooh, I forgot about that as well. Uh, 3D glasses with, like, lasers is a bit broken, a bit wonky. Um, okay, definitely re-rolling that. Probably going to re-roll that too. There you go, baby. That's what we're talking about. That's the sort of damage up we are looking for. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Wasn't expecting a C-section run here. But you know I'll be enjoying one. You know I'll be enjoying one. I'm going to try and get an additional charge before going to our boss, but I don't think we're going to be able to get one. But I'll try my darndest. I, I'm pretty sure the 3D glasses shots are also C-section babies as well, even though they're not visually the same. Look, you see, you see them, like, hovering around? That's pretty nice. Dude, we got a lot of rooms here. We should be able to actually uh, pretty easily get an extra charge. Especially because we've got a big room over there. Get out of here, dolphins. I don't even know how you're about. Ooh, meteors. 
We like the meteors. We actually showed those off recently. Unfortunately, can't quite get into that trap room yet. We need a half heart to get in there. But we're getting a guaranteed charge out of this L-shaped room anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, so even though we didn't get a damage up, this is effectively a damage up. This section provides us with all the damage we might need. Extra penny, lovely. Right, let's go and do the boss. Good stuff. Even though we got a pretty dull floor with just treasure room pool, we still managed to pull it out the bag and get something good going on. This is why I was saying about having uh, the battery is so good. We would not have got C-section had we not had the battery. Now our damage still isn't amazing with C-section, so we're still we're still going a bit slowly, but things will exponentially get better. And 3D glasses producing extra uh, shots is helping too. The meteors are also nice. I like the meteors. Yeah, it's a pretty slow kill for C-section on a boss, that is. And um, we get knockout drops. I'm pretty happy with knockout drops. I don't even know how that's going to interact with C-section, but I'm down to find out. I tell you that. I'm down to find out. Definitely need some more health coming our way shortly. Yeah, we've got plenty of keys, so we can work with this. Well then, that's a lot of that's a lot of troll bombs, game. It's a lot of troll bombs. Did get back up to full red hearts though, that's nice. That gives us a fire rate boost as well. Ooh, this is gonna be an annoying room. The 3D glass is going wild there, I love it. We good? We good? We good. Sack there as well. We're getting a lot of consumables right now. Up to 15 money again. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, wow. We got the half dollar. Um, spawns from defeating Super Greed in a secret room. Well, that's just not true. <laughs> um, I, I guess it's because we've got, like, secret room pool, maybe? I don't know. Or I don't know what pool we've got here. Plus 50 coins. Plus 40% chance to convert pennies into sticky nickels. Um, okay. I'll take that. Extra money's useful to us. I like it. But that is, uh, yeah, I don't know why that item spawned. I'm not quite sure what pool we've got now, based on that. Maybe we're just going to get that pool only, defeating Super Greed. We're just going to get that item over and over again. That would be kind of funny. That would be kind of funny. Take care of you, good sir. <laughs> the 3D glasses are doing all sorts of shenanigans right now. And... Nah, that's, that's not really super useful for us. I'll pop a bomb on that. Ooh, Bacano. I like that. Right, we're wasting good charge here. Where's, where's our item room at? Item room or shop. I mean, at the minute, money's looking good. So shop would be a, a good one to find as well. I want more luck. The key there. I'm loving knockout drops with this setup. It's very fun. Another pill. Dude, another range down. Can you stop, sir? Can you stop? So there's a sticky nickel, right? Okay, no, that was just a regular nickel. I guess I'll just do the boss now that I've got charges, right? I could lose my devil deal here, but honestly, I don't really have the red hearts to be taking devil deals. I should have thought about that, about, like, not getting many red hearts. I should have really gone for, um, angel deal. I mean, I lost it anyways. I might die, because this guy... What? Dude, knockout drops is making this so much harder. Stop. <laughs> oh my god, that was so difficult. Pretty good item there. Pretty good item. Still don't know what, what pool we're on here. Two black hearts is very nice. Uh, 
Dude. Stop. Got a good item there. And I, th I think we're on secret room pool. I think we're on secret room pool, but it's honestly hard to tell. Oh, dude. We're going every which way but the, the ones with, with items in them. Oh, dude. Did, did our... Uh, did our... Meteorite, just, yeah, our meteorites are spawning fire now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cool. Yet another item, Molten Slag, that can be kind of laggy, but we don't gotta worry about that anymore. We don't gotta worry about that lag anymore, baby. We are golden. Okay, we got both of them in here. We got Sackhead, yeah, so that's a secret room item, definitely. Let's go check out our shop first. I probably want to re-roll Sackhead into something a bit better. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, guy. Worst possible, worst possible time to get this. I could have got some secret room items to purchase. I've got all the money in the world as well, you absolute fiend. Right, I will re-roll Sackhead. I know there's a lot worse items I could get than Sackhead, but Sackhead's a bit boring, isn't it? Um, monsters have a chance to drop spinning coins when death proportional to, uh, luck, their maximum health in the current stage. The coin can be picked up like normal, but it disappears. A bit boring. That's so much worse. Oh my god. And we wasted so much charge on this floor as well. So much charge wasted. I'm angry. I'm angry. Can't even buy a battery charge. It's gonna be like two rooms and gone, isn't it? Orphan socks. I mean, these these items here are going to be thingy as well. Uh, let's see what we've got going on in here. We've got knockout drops. Uh, an alternate version of knockout drops. Interesting. Ow, of course. Tears have a chance to make enemies fly backwards while pooping for no additional damage. Poop can drop pickups. It's, it's, it's weird. I'll take it. And we'll play this out. Why not? Don't be a dick. All I wanted to do is see what was underneath it. All I wanted to do was see what was underneath it. And that's how you treat me. That was evil game. 75. Oh man, it's a 25% chance to succeed. That was that was honestly evil game. So this floor wasn't great. <laughs> I, I kind of wasted some potential here. Can I stop being feared, please, so I can shoot? Oh, dude. Where's where's the radius for the fear? I can't see it. Right. I I could potentially get charges by secret rooms now. So, And I do have golden bombs. So it's worth checking out. I hate having copper bombs with golden bombs. They just, just annoys me. We did indeed get an item at least. We got the Karma level once again, a very good item. And luckily I know this room now, so I didn't get tricked by it. Your cheeky ass room. Okay, second secret room. There is that one that has a ton of batteries in it, so... So you're saying there's a chance. We yeah, had Karmic dice here, uh, Karmic whatever it was called, Karmics. Karmic level, sorry. Very, very good item for us here, because now we have a way of getting stats. We've actually had this item show up a few times recently. Okay. We are gone, unfortunately, Wavy Cap. You are a bit of a devil. I'm annoyed. The, the, the shop is the biggest, biggest F you. The fact that we got the perfect floor for secret room items in the shop was that. Man, I hate it so much. Luckily, as you just saw there, sticky nickels aren't that bad for us. Because our meteorites have a good chance of just destroying them anyways. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did we just get a thousand bucks? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess we have um, Library Pool, which is goddamn awful for us.
Yes, we indeed do. I'm gonna pop a reroll on that straight away. Because basically, I I want Bookworm, but also there is a few passive books. So we might as well try and get those. Got another tainted treasure room here. Uh, gain an additional charge uh, bar adjacent to your active item. Um, gain additional charge bar adjacent to your active items charge bar that fills when clearing rooms while the active item is fully charged. When you use your active item while the bar is fully charged, it unleashes a wave of lasers around you. Okay, no, we don't really, we don't really want that. Unfortunate, but not really for us. But yeah, there is like three or four passive book items. So there's a chance we can make something out of this floor, even though it's not been ideal for us. Dude, all this fire normally would be lagging the ever-living hell out of the game. And it is, it is handling it like a champ. But yes, for people that are still unfamiliar with this, go and watch my previous video on uh, fixing lag in Isaac. Um, but basically... It, whatever my FPS is, it times is it by four. So if I'm in a run where I only get five FPS, it's not like I'm immediately going to be at 100 FPS, but it will times that by four, which is way more playable. <laughs> at least I'm getting money like crazy from this item. I do think the sticky nickels might be bu uh, sticky nickels might be bugged because I'm just like not really seeing any sticky nickels. I'm just getting regular nickels, but it's at a 50% chance, so maybe I'm just getting lucky. Alright, cool. I know that using that means I'm going to get a cube of meat, but I can just re-roll it into a book anyways, so that's fine. Hello, fellas. Ah, Magic Brimstone, your own friends. Get wrecked. Realistically, I should bomb my way out of rooms that are going to waste a charge. That's just a lot of effort. I'm really glad we got Molten uh, Slag here. That's that's really helped us out. Could go for a, a bomb upgrade. Like this room, for example. Let's just bomb our way out of this one. Just so we don't waste a charge. If it's a room that doesn't adjoin to anything, we can come back and get a charge once we've re-rolled something, sort of thing. That's what we're looking for. Please shop. Don't. Don't be a... Ugh. Don't be a fight with anyone. It's not, but it is a bunch of books. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy both of these, which I realize is a bit silly, but... I'm then going to re-roll them, and re-roll them again, and quickly just check my item room. Um, Satanic Bible's pretty pretty good, although not going to be super useful for us, but I'll pick it up to make sure it's picked up. Damn. I was hoping. I was hoping we'd get uh, get one of the passive items. I know that we can't exhaust the book pool anymore, really, because there's just the library mod plus other mods just add so many books. That just exhausting the library now is like just not an option anymore. Um, normally, I think before it took about six rerolls to do, but now it's probably going to be like more like twenty. <laughs> Pop that real quick. There's a lot going on here. Could you stand yourself still, still, my friend? Oh my god, there's so much fire happening. But yeah, this is items are an interesting one. It can be, it can be your angle or your devil. We did get baller bandages here. See, this would be a perfect room to, for a reroll, but I don't have a reroll. I guess I'll take the baller bandages. It's at least something different. And I'm going to quickly try and get another reroll. I don't think I can actually get another reroll from anywhere, can I? We can maybe find secret room. That could that could give us it. Beautiful fire. 
Beautiful fire. I think after this run, I'm after this. Uh, yeah, af after this run, I'm gonna go for a run, but not 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 another Isaac run, but like a run with my feet. Because it's it's reasonably nice outside, and I, basically I'm going on holiday to Greece in like a month and a half, and I'm looking to lose as much weight as humanly possible before that, simply so that I can put it back on once I get there. Because the food there is honestly the best food I've ever eaten in my entire life. I went to Greece once before, and yeah, genuinely the best food I've ever had in my entire life. Um, so I will be eating copious copious amounts of it um yeah so i'm trying to lose as much weight as i can before that unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna get another charge here because i just have no idea where the secret room is so i didn't, didn't mean to give you my bomb but you've got it now i guess could be here yeah i don't know i i'm not gonna i'm not gonna piss around with my bombs i just don't know where the secret room is right we go please give us a good item pool that one was uh, pretty tragic. There was a lot of items on that floor we could have bought, and uh, we didn't get to grab. Who knows what pool we have this time. It's interesting to see, though, that um, even like the boss discs and stuff give you the items from the pool that you're in. Lovely stuff. The luck is uh, is clearly helping. And we get this might be boss pool. GMO corn. Could give us an error room teleport, but I'll risk it. Okay. Overall, pretty good. GMO corn is some damage, finally. We do now have bookworm as well, which is helping out. Oh my god, there's so much going on. There's so much happening. Yes, I think we just got boss room pool here, which is, is a decent pool to have. There's some good items in there. We need the stats. This is uh, depth 2, so we're not going to go straight for the boss here. But you see how that was a sticky nickel right there? It spawned as a sticky nickel. And when I, when I left the room, went back in, it was no longer a sticky nickel. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I'm not sure if that's, that's a bug of the item or what. We also have good fire right now from uh, the karmic level. Helping us out a ton. Dude, that AoE is great. <laughs> Such a good... Honestly, this meteorite synergy is really cool as well. I really like it. Thank you for giving me back the key that I spent and a bomb. It's fine, I guess. Right, shop, don't be a dick. Just be a shop with some good stuff in it that I can buy. Shops have really let us down thus far. This is a good, um, and chance, chance to fire a powerful fire cloud behind you when shooting. Not the most interesting, um, there's no battery in here, so I'm a little apprehensive to re-roll it, but I'm going to do it anyways. There you go, I'll go for that. Extra fire it, lovely. Boss trap room here. Um, I could I could potentially see the uh, the secret room being here, so I'm just gonna quickly check that out. Lovely stuff. Interesting. I wonder how he'll pay out. I've got too much speed to play this guy efficiently. Mum stockings. I'll reroll. Plus two luck up. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm, I think that's pretty decent. We got a golden pill as well. Thanatosis. Right, what are we actually looking for now? We've seen everything we need to see on this floor, I think. Quickly check in here. Soul of 
Extra fire out from that, thank you. I gained three, three broken hearts from taking Bar of Soap. Are you kidding me? It didn't even show any broken hearts above it. I, I didn't think it was going to give me any. But I suppose it is quality three. But that was uh, maybe not the most worthwhile choice I've ever made. Maybe not the best choice I've ever made. Anyways, let's get going for our boss. What a fitting end to a golden pill, and I found pills. Right. Let's keep it moving. Are we, I, I, I was going to say how many sounds we get from that, but I don't actually care. I'm going to stick with my meteorite either way. More money that we don't really need, but I'll take. Tinted rock there. Good, we've got some backup health. Honestly, man, this run would be pretty laggy if it wasn't for uh, the loss of scaling. I've had a few people in the comments say they've tried it out and it's really reinvigorated their enjoyment of Isaac, so I'm glad that I could help out. And by the way, if anyone's wondering what my settings are, I did actually, in the episode that I made about loss of scaling, um, I did actually leave a reply to someone asking for my settings with what I use. Um, so if you if you want to copy those and see what I'm using, then feel free. And remember as well, Lossless Scaling works on multiple games. It's not just for Isaac. Like, it can be used in all sorts of games to improve your FPS. It's a very, very worthwhile bit of software that is relatively cheap for what it can achieve. By the way, I'm really glad we took the um, weird knockout drops here. We're getting some decent bonus out of it. There's just poop everywhere. <laughs> It's just poop everywhere. The only downside to the Karmic level is it's giving us shot speed every single floor. And shot speed actually isn't that ideal with C-section. It's not terrible, but it, it makes it a little harder to hit things. Yeah, see, that was clearly a sticky nickel that just wasn't sticky. Right here, I'm just beelining it to the end. But I think we've managed to craft a pretty interesting run based on the ant pools. I mean, it could have been a lot better if it wasn't for that library floor, because we got so many items on that floor that were all books that we couldn't take. If, if that floor had been something else, we could have really been cooking. Didn't know I didn't actually finish this room. My bad. Do you wanna... There you go. Chill yourself out, my lad. But yeah, these floors aren't gonna be quite as interesting just because not as many items to see. Let me out, let me out. I want gone. Ooh, that's a, that's a big boy. I managed to actually poop him over the gap there. I will do this room because it has golden. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So this could be uh, boss item pool again here. I'm going to re-roll it and see what we get. Yeah, it definitely is boss item pool. Star is what I'm looking for. I wanted to damage up. I was looking for a damage up. Oh, I need to itch my ear. I apologize. It just came on all of a sudden. Oh my god, the poops. Knocking things around like crazy. It's <laughs> hard to keep focus. So he actually did still drop infestation, which is interesting, but I'll, I'll re-roll that as well. I'm super glad we got the battery so early on. That made a huge difference. Soul heart in there, half soul heart that we can grab. Let's do the boss first before we go and reroll the other thing. Oh, hello. Triple blast assist. Okay. The poops are uh, doing their thing and dealing with you, though. 
This with petrified poop would be wild. We'd be getting like nickels all the time. Man, this room's so playable. <laughs> What's happening? This is bizarre. There's petrified poop. Do I want to take petrified poop just to just to see how crazy it gets? It's probably not that worthwhile to me. Not the best of the best here, is it? I don't know. Petrified poop could be funny. I'm gonna take petrified poop just because, just to just to see how wild it gets. Moon is decent. We'll take it. Cash room entry as well. Lovely. Well, there's a mini battery, and then we can take a big battery in a little minute as well if we need to. We can come back for that. Right, quickly go and reroll this. Yeah, that's not what I want. There is plenty of better boss items I could be grabbing here. I'm just going to shortcut through here because I can't be ass walking around now that I've gone the wrong way. Excuse me? Oh, no, it was in here. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Where is it? That was a little stupid of me. Boom bow, and boom bow. That's what I'm looking for, baby. The smooth stone. Nah, I want to stick with my meteorites. The meteorites are more fun. What am I going to do with the extra money anyways? Right, let's go. Let us go. Honestly, getting karmic level has, has been our saving grace on this run. Without that, we would not have great stats right now. This, uh, this, this 50 cent... Nickel, whatever thing I got, with is, is a very, very good item. I just like the fact that I can cover the room and everything. I've got one of these guys as well. I wonder if this will be affected, the item that this drops, or if this is set in stone as well. I imagine this is set in stone and will drop me placenta. Or Akeldama. Or Varicose Veins. But yet another one for the reroll table. <laughs> My god, the rooms get so wacky because of the poop. It's very hard to keep track of what the hell's going on. Things are dying quick though, that's all I care about. Hellfire's doing good stuff as well. Right. Once we get a few C-section babies out there, they kind of just do their, do our bidding for us. Right. Quickly go back and re-roll. Ho! <laughs> it's secret room pool, baby. And we got a good secret room item as well. A little, little bit late for uh, for Rock Bottom to really do too much for us, but... I, uh, I, do, I, don't, I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. The problem with a run like this is I don't even know how to thumbnail this. Like, that's got to be one of the one of the trickiest things. I, I do like these new thumbnail styles for how easy they are to make and how quick they are to put together. But one thing I don't like about them is some with some items, it's really hard to, to like come up with an intriguing thumbnail that's like really sort of clickable uh, without it just being like super generic. I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. Keep moving forward. I wonder what other secret room items we might see on this uh, this here floor. I wonder per chance it'll, if it'll be anything useful. Yeah, another thing about karmic level as well is it's just given us so much luck to work with for... Uh, I don't know if Molten Slag is based on luck, but it seems to be. I think it might just be that we're firing more tears though. It's just triggering more often because of that. And the meteorites seem to be just chucking it down like crazy as well. Oh, 
on 99 cent again. Here's a boss, lovely. Ow, I don't even know what hit me there. I got hit again? Getting hit by things I can't even see. Right, we should be able to skip the last phase here pretty quickly. There you go. Took some bad damage there. Sadly, no additional items this floor, which is a real shame. Now, I'm very curious to see what we get on our very last floor. That's going to make the difference. Curious to see if we get any cards that we can take advantage of for Rock Bottom as well. We haven't really got anything to take advantage of with Rock Bottom yet, have we? Money, money all around, but not a way to spend it. Big sad. Yeah, our shot speed has gotten a bit wild now as well. Once the C-section baby settle and, and get into their own groove, it's fine. But initially, they come out with some ferocity and speed that's not required. Oh my god, Hellfire. Hellfire's going crazy. I'm hoping we just go straight to the, uh, the boss here, because... There isn't many other items to find apart from the mini boss one, potentially. It's just kind of hard to not get hit at the moment because the enemies with these this, this uh, poop knockback thing just get kind of moved around and knocked into me like crazy. It's hard to keep track of what's going on. A luck penny, nice. I guess we needed more luck. I mean, we're going to get a lot of chests on the next floor, so I'm really hoping our item pool isn't the fucking um, library again. If it's the library, I will be very upset. <laughs> right, you are done, my guy. Oh, this run has been smooth as hell. I love it. Normally a run that would be struggling. And it's just been the most easy breezy little run you've ever seen. Right. Let us out. Okay, yes, we went pretty much straight to the boss here. Good stuff. Oh, you need to stop with your stupidness, like, right away, dude. There you go. You're really not gonna die? Are you kidding? Just, just... Perish. Huh. Still love that sound. Oh my god, the amount of fire. Ah! Oh, I blasted him into myself. I knew it was gonna happen. He's just, oh my god. It's so hard to keep track of where he's going to be. Because he's fucking everywhere. There you go. Another luck penny. Lovely. Right. Item pool. Please bless us. Bless us with something beautiful. That seems to be the devil deal pool. Lovely stuff. Okay. Um, well, that's going to give us plus three broken hearts as well. So I'm not going to take any of these, actually, um, surprisingly. Um, I will take that, however. I'm going to also reroll all of those again and again. My god, I'm getting some bad items so far. A theme, obviously, really good. Dude, these items suck. <laughs> Also, my speed didn't get decreased at all from my uh, rerolls there, which I'm surprised at. I don't know where the uh, where the laser rings are coming from. I'll be honest. Oh, uh, hold up! Are the laser rings from 3D glasses and a theme? That's an interesting, potentially unintended synergy, but I I, I I can be down with it. I don't know why my speed didn't get reduced by me overusing my active there, but oh, uh, because I got rock bottom. Okay. Ah, that's that's pretty nice. Dude. 
this is honestly, like, how did I not think of this lossless scaling sooner? I mean, I'll be honest, I've only been using it the past, like, month or so. Um, so it's, it's kind of understandable. But, like, damn. How has no one else thought of this? <laughs> this is, like, absolutely massive. I I'm gonna have to make some, like, some, like, post on Reddit or something about this. I don't know, because I feel like a lot of people need to know about this. This is, like, super, super important. Um... Give a huge damage boost after killing an enemy, which quickly decreases. Gives you a small damage bonus for each monster you kill. I like that. I like that a lot. That's an item from, um... I don't remember what that's from, actually. But I like it. It's from the same mod that Lawful's from, isn't it? That damage boost is, uh, pretty nice. We seem to be at 33 damage. Oh, dude. Rock bottom plus this item. And Lusty Blood. Oh, dude. Rock bottom is, is absolutely cracked for us right now. We just keep gaining damage off of killing things and it keeps going up and up and up. There seems to be no upper limit to it either. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Look how crazy that is. Game's running absolutely fine. My goodness. <sighs> Item. Money equals power. Unfortunately, didn't give us any damage. <laughs> The, the amount of damage we have now. Oh, dude, look at this. Look, look, look at how much damage we're gaining off of this room. So this is finally a room that's causing lag, but even still, it's playable. Compared to what before would literally be one FPS. It looks a bit funky. A little bit, but... I don't actually know what's still alive. What could possibly still be alive in all of this? Damage multiplier? Oh, what? That didn't work. My multiplier didn't go up. How come? Dude, Rock Bottom has uh, has sent sent this run to the stratosphere. This this item that gives us damage boosts. I don't know why it's working the way it is. Because normally with with Rock Bottom, when you gain a damage boost, it 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 has to go over the top, like higher than the damage you currently have for it to give you permanent damage. For some reason, this item seems to be giving us more permanent damage. Which is strange, but I like it. Malice. Headless baby, why not? Hello. Pet peeve. It's boss time, baby. If you give me void, I'll, I'll take it. If you give me void, I'll take it. In fact, even if you don't give me void, I might take it. You did give me void. Lovely. Right. Because this is yet another potential item pool. And also, this runs just... It seems like our damage is just going to keep going up, which I am all, all for. Telepills into a boss fight? What item do you have for us? I can't see! We got Cast the Blind. Pointy Rib? Pointy Rib? This, this is difficult, because it could be a familiar pool. I think it could also be Ultra Secret Room Pool, technically, and I think it could also be Item Room Pool, so... At the minute, we don't know. It could also be, yeah, it, Baby Pool, yeah, familiar, so... There's a lot that could be. Dude, we're still gaining damage. I love this. 
Unfortunately, the one bad thing about Hellfire is it is making rooms take longer to finish. Because the enemies take three seconds before the, the Hellfire. Which means everything is taking longer to die. We good. Hey. Right, will it be another baby? It is... I don't even know what that's from. I'm guessing we're on item room pool right now. Unless the, um... The, the the void having random pools for bosses is overwrites lawful, and we're still just getting random pools. That's potentially the case. Right after this, I'm gonna edit edit. I'm gonna record and edit a video that shows how to use um that shows how to use lossless scaling. Because it, it, it feels like something the world needs to know about. Mom's ring. I'll go for my run, actually, first, and then I'll do that. And I'll, I'll upload it to my YouTube, so it's a tutorial for people that want to know how to use it. The, the one thing, the one thing I'm not sure about is I don't know, like, if lossless scaling works on all PCs or not. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that part of it comes into play. Like, if you have a weak machine, I'm not sure if lots of scaling is, is going to be plausible. Because I'm pretty sure it, it takes it takes processing power and VRAM. Look at that fucking meteorite. Oh my god. So, I, I think on weaker machines, it will struggle a bit. But I don't know. I'll have to do some research before I start my video and give people the, the correct information. I'll see if the, uh, the application has like a Discord or something that I can chat to people in, so I can get the the right information. I mean, I'll, I'll have a look what the what the specs are for it on Steam as well, because it might have recommended specs. But just this is like a true testament to what this application is doing for this game right now. Like this this run would be nigh unplayable. Like, it wouldn't be unplayable, but it'd be fairly unwatchable, I'll say. Like, you guys would not be having a good time watching the lag that would unfold here. But now, ain't gotta worry. This is a lot of shots, so you, you okay? Lawn darts. I still don't know what pool I'm in. I, I genuinely don't think I've got a specific pool here. Harlequin, yeah, I'm just confused. Ooh, Conjoined is an interesting one with no stats down as well. Conjoined with no stats down. What a wonderful world. <laughs> Can't believe Rock Bottom gave us such a, such a boon to our success at the end of this run. Okay, we got Delirium. It shouldn't be that hard. There's a little bit of warping going on, but nothing that bad. You can see the game is actually slowed down a little bit, but it's not lagging. It's like it's playing in slow motion, but the frames are all there. Which is far preferable. It's far more enjoyable to play and to watch. But there you go. Nice run there. Very fun item. Very, very cool. Really enjoyed it, even if we get screwed over. But that's 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 the, the toss-up with Lawful. Sometimes you'll get some good stuff, sometimes you won't. It's a it's a gamble. But I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a lot and a lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.